all right good morning uh, this is going to be my very first drive on 10.9 um, I haven't driven it yet at all so I don't know what to expect um, this is going to be just the usual um, work route um, so I guess let's get going Keeps us on the right. Now turn right onto right 9th now. Avenue North. Yes. Slightly different than before. We are just stopped at this stop sign for some reason. <clears throat> there. Okay, we're, we're just. I think FSD kind of gave up. I don't know what's happening. This is the first time this has ever happened. Now turn right on to 72nd Street North. I'm telling it to go. Okay, I think FSD actually is just broken. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and report that. Let's try this. Okie dokie. Uh, right. So I'm not getting the auto steer icon. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. We will do a restart. And I'm going to just pull off into this alley for now. Get out of the road. Let the car restart. <clears throat> okay, it, uh, I guess, is ready to go. So let's, uh, try this again. Okay, we are clear. Now turn left onto 72nd Street North. Uh, it's too late for that. Also, we're not anywhere near where you think we are. Okay, so I'm gonna just drive it for a bit, see if we can get GPS to work. Hopefully it'll figure it out. Turn right onto 9th Avenue North. Okay, it's like kind of close. It's figuring it out. Sort of. Okay, FSD is available now. Alright, let's uh. Well, now it's taking us down <laughs> the wrong route. Ah! Okay, well, um, let's see how it does with this right turn. And then I'll take over and get us, oh, get us lined up where we need to go. In 500 feet, turn right onto 66th Street North. Now turn right onto 66th Street North. Okay, not bad. Take over here and force it to go down the route that I want to go. Five hundred feet. Turn left onto Fifth Avenue North. Okay. See what it's doing. All right, I'm just going to cancel navigation and then uh, try and get it to go the route that I want it to go. Hopefully, it's... five hundred feet. Okay, turn there we left go. onto First Avenue South. Drinky, not too bad. Could have gone around that car, but that's fine. Now turn left onto First Avenue South. Let's see if it does it any better here. So not particularly. That's still not very good. All 
I don't understand why it seems to have such a hard time figuring out what the lane lines are. They're very clear. Uh, there's doesn't really seem to be much room for it to interpret them as double yellows. I think what's happening is it's expecting, like instead of looking and seeing what it is, it's expecting something else. Um, and it's like conflicting with reality. Okay, uh, that was good caution, and I like that it continued on its own after it realized that this guy wasn't pulling out. That was, you know what? For me, I know it was clear that he wasn't going to go, um, but uh, I don't, I don't really fault the car for that. Obviously, it should uh, get better at predicting things, and you know, like if we're talking, it should drive like a human. It should be able to predict as well as humans do, and right now, it doesn't really predict as well as humans do. I mean, it's maybe better than a really dumb human, uh, but most people are not dumb. Uh, there are almost certainly going to be people that are going to say, oh, uh, it's driving better than me, and those people should definitely not have licenses. So this is why the <laughs> this is why FSD did not want to go there, or uh, why uh, the navigation did not want to go this way. There's some construction going on and just terrible traffic. It's not too bad once you get past this light though. Let's see how FSD handles this situation. Um, so, okay. Uh, Alright, so it could have taken that gap. Alright, I'm forcing it through. It did not handle that particularly nicely. Um, I am on assertive. I've been on average for a while. Um, I've just recently switched it back to assertive. I, again, I don't really think there's a difference. So, for improvement at that situation, since that SUV wasn't going, um, there was plenty of opportunity for it to gun it and get in front of him. That's probably what I would have done. Um, Instead, it like slowed down and got really hesitant, and that just created a, a suboptimal situation to begin with. And then once that car started moving, like it, it kind of figured it out and, and stopped. Um, but then it didn't really try to uh, to get going again in time to avoid disrupting the cars that were behind us that we were going to merge in front of. Um, so like part of being assertive is you have to get in front of people, but also, like, you have to be careful to not inconvenience them either. Being assertive doesn't mean being a dick. Um, so, not, not a great situation there. So, historically, FSD has always just tried to make an unsignaled lane change through this intersection. It's doing okay right now. Let's see if it tries to, like, go around this car in front of us. It isn't. Let's see if it tries to drive into the cones. It isn't. Okay. Um, I hesitate to call that an improvement, but, um, see, like, it, it's still, like, it really wants to, for some reason, there's just some part of it that's like, ooh, I see these solid white lines, I really want to go around them. It's really weird. Um, I did better at not doing that, though. It's just uncomfortable having the the car trying to do something that you don't want it to do, that it shouldn't do. Something I'd like to see FSD do at some point is uh, figure out how to go with the flow. Um, like, yeah, it's nice to go the speed limit, but also, like, 
if nobody, literally nobody around you is doing the speed limit, then it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to do the speed limit. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, why? Literally, why? And slowing down for this intersection again, so I'm tapping the accelerator. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why, why at certain intersections does it do that? It doesn't make any sense. matched our speed, which is uh, inconvenient. Okay, he's coming in behind us, so we're now clear to go. In 500 feet, turn left onto 5th Street South. This guy's just wandering out into the intersection, as morons do. Now turn left onto 5th Street South. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I was gonna say that it was better, feet. but... Turn left onto no. First Avenue North, then turn left. Okay. Uh, not the worst drive ever. Um, let's see. Let's go back to Gibbs. It should take us down to First Avenue South. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> what is with this? path plan. Uh, weird. I wonder if the, like, mural in the road is confusing it. Uh, it seems to have figured it out, smoothed out once it started moving. Odd. Now turn left onto 1st Avenue North. Okay, we are clear. No pedestrians, no oncoming cars. Um, it did figure it out. It just didn't do it well. Let's check our tire pressure situation. Okay, we're fine. Is that the same Mustang from before? Driving like he's on FSD. Mm. Okay. Changing lanes away from merch. Um, that's fine. I mean, it, it it's kind of a merge, but it's really just a turn. It was really just a left turn, or a right turn. Um, I wouldn't call that a merge. Also, good decision on uh, deciding to stop. It took a little bit too long for it to make that decision, but um, ultimately made the right decision. Uh, in fact, I will... I would like to see it make that decision a little sooner. A little bit of hesitation there, but no, nothing too dramatic. So it started to just slow down super dramatically for that uh, intersection. Um, there were some covered up streetlights. It needs to 
kind of understand that if streetlights are covered up, um, they aren't active. They aren't active traffic control devices. They can be ignored. I think right now it's just looking for the light. The light from the traffic control device. And if the light isn't present, then it gets concerned. turn there, I think, because the traffic on the right was slowing down for their right turn, which isn't necessary. Okay, it sort of soft aborted that, uh, and did end up completing it. Auto lane changes on this road, in this particular stretch, have always, even before FSD, um, just normal autopilot when you initiate a lane change. Um, there's like a 40% chance that it will either fully abort or soft abort on that stretch of road for some reason. In 500 feet, turn right onto 66th Street North. Okay, let's see if it uh, figures out. Now turn right on to 66th Street North. It did not. In 500 feet, turn left onto 5th Avenue North. Now turn left onto 5th Avenue North. We should get a green arrow, so we won't really be able to test a uh, controlled turn. Improvements. Destination is on the right. Um, I don't know why it's going to the left. <laughs> um, some improvements. Uh, still not all the way there yet, but um, you know, hopefully soon we'll see some some improvements in some of the uh, problem areas. Um, that's it for now. Uh, talk to you later.